So I said record a lunch. Let's okay. start. Um, one. Uh, one. Are we ready? Yeah. Two. Yeah. Hey, Kazas! Do you want to try it again? Oh. You <laughs> sounded like buzz. 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 Okay, I want to hear Go. to our YouTube channel, Yours and Why. And um, today we will be shooting a blind tasting. You guys have seen this, you guys should know about it, but we are back with another blind tasting with a great guest. So tonight, you already know it's a blind tasting and we are joined by a very special guest. We're so excited to have her here. We're joined by Gugu Nyatsumba tonight of the YouTube channel, Uncomfortable Growth. She's a content creator, she's an all-round amazing young lady. And welcome to the Wonder Child. Welcome! Yeah. 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 To Cape Town! To Cape Town! <laughs> yes, um, thank you guys so much for having me. I am a lover of wine, I'm a lover yes. of fine ladies. So yes. I like what's happening here. Let's go! Fine ladies, no fine lady. Okay. <laughs> Glasses, thank you so much for supporting us, our loyal subscribers and to the new glasses welcome we hope you enjoy our wine journey and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay guys just to recap and also just for you gooks um how blind tastings work okay. we have four wines in front of us here some white some red um and google will have to guess um the varietal of each wine okay. um she has three guesses um, and if she fails, then she fails. If she wins, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> um, okay. And that's how it will go. Okay. Um, as we taste these wines and do the guesses, we'll ask you some questions um, just to get to know her better. Okay. Let's rock. Let's, Let's rock. Go. Yes. Juice. What I smell, um, it's light, it's kind of fruity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a specific fruit that I'm getting, but I think when I taste it, I'll be able to like mm -hmm. point it out. Point it out. Yeah. Okay. Third bad girl. Yeah. You got this in the motherfucking bag, child. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I go bad. You mm. don't. Guys, it's not what I remember. It's also not what I remember. And I really enjoy the the specific thing. I'm just surprised that I couldn't drink it today without dying mm. but I can feel the heart burning. Maybe we'll How are you feeling? Um, it's light. It is a rat. Uh, uh. Um, yeah, like I'm, I'm okay. Like I can drink it if uh. it's there, but I'm not dying. You're not a rat. Wow, I'm not like, yeah. yeah. Like, 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 have you ever had the Yost Trudy on cane? Yeah. Does it remind you of that? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The Yost Trudy yes. one in it drugs inside. Yeah, it's not normal. Oh my god, I just thought of that. That is so good. Yeah, crazy. that's crazy. Yeah. Are you okay then? I'm fine. There's <laughs> 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 something I'm enjoying. Politically, <laughs> like, I can sip on it. Like, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, you know? But I, so, I need this to be like. Ice cold. Yeah, I get it. We're not doing yeah, ice I can rock with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying the temperature too. Yeah. Oh, you like it? I feel like you love it. Like you like it. Like it. Because like I'm really confused about the hydration. Okay. No, 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 no. Never was my own regular. But you're my ally and gay. Yeah. Always. Um, just give me like a Sauvignon. Ah! A tea! I know that's right. We got a connoisseur in the hizzle. This is a um, De Crendel 2020 Sauvignon Blanc. Hey, Charles. Hey, honey. So the first question, it's mm -hmm. just a question that we like to ask all of our guests. And yes. if you've watched any of our videos, which yeah. I know if you have, then you should know. <laughs> um, 
But please tell us, um, when did you fall in love with wine? I've low-key been thinking about my answer. Really? <laughs> because I, didn't, I like. Okay, so I went to UCT. Yes. And obviously there's a like there's a wine culture in Cape Town. Yeah. So in first year, like I started with like Fourth Streets. Drossy mm. Wolf or whatever it's called. Sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, old brand. Yeah, uh, and I wasn't really into wine to be honest, because it was sweet and it got me drunk. I was like, yeah, this is the vibe. And then I got to go to wine farms, and that was beautiful to me. And I was like, oh no, I actually, I'd like to know what happens here and what wine is about. So I think I really got into wine second year, which is 2017. Yeah, but ever since then it's been cool. Yours truly threw me off. Mm. Here and there. Mm. Ah. Mm. But yeah, 2017. My first wine farm. Oh, I want to say it was Takara, but it's not Takara. Or well, at least the one that was most memorable. Mm. Mm. Takara was very memorable to okay. me. There's another one that I'm forgetting that I really liked, but I can't remember. Oh, Spear was my first wine farm of life. Oh, Obviously, okay. I feel like everyone started there. That's nice. nice. Yeah. So, that's so, that's nice. yeah. so yeah. That's so, mm, cool. So cool. Okay, so we are oh, moving on to so one of the. Yeah, I'm ready actually. <laughs> Your sounds are giving me great. I'm ready. Mm. You've had this before? I've okay. had this before. Okay, girl. Oh, but Ninga and Guzi Jay, Ika, Mabaja, and Lassie. Okay, that's fine. Look, I did pretty good. I don't know why you're saying this. Oh, does it taste like something I've had? Probably, it's very distinct. You probably distinct. have had it. I know, I know why you're saying this. Okay. For sure. It's okay. very distinct of it. Okay. So okay. you want to tell us what it is? Just get to the. No. Okay. Let's just like, please, not every time. Guess <laughs> like. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us what you smell it, what you taste it. Why do you think you've had it before? Come on. Let's just go okay. through okay. some okay. steps. Okay. Okay. Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why? 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 Um, it's not popping. Mm, yeah. So it's perfumey, I think. It's getting Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Ooh, Your current Mark favorite Jacobs. description. Oh, yeah. Perfumey? Mm. I don't think so much as I have it though. I don't know. Yeah. I've been for like three wines in the past week. <laughs> this past one. No. Mark for Marc Jacobs by, by Marc Jacobs. Jacobs. <laughs> Jacobs. <laughs> by Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs. It's smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see? Do I want it? Yes, please. Clean. Okay. I can give you a clue about the wine farm. Yes. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, but it, it's also promo. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Um, the wine farm. Okay. They currently have a curated selection up on their site that people should go buy for 995 Rand. Right now. That, that is, is so awkward because I want to say something, but I feel like I know it's not what I want to say. But, but I'm you think it's your three guesses. It. Like it's, it's not Cedarburg. Right. No. Okay. But I understand why you'd say that. That's also from a hey Cedarburg. <laughs> I think what I want to know is which grape it is first okay. before trying to even. Okay, taste. I can give you yeah. a What do you taste like in the palate? We have this from the palate. Yeah. Smooth and. Peachy ish. Mm -hmm. I know if it's peach, but. Some mm -hmm. apricot, yeah. some peach, mm -hmm. and sugar, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. oh, mm. is he really awesome? Also. That's all I can like really give you. Okay. Mm. okay. I feel like it's not a shillin. Okay. okay. Mm. That's nice though. Um, I feel like it's not a chardonnay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Oh no, it's not chardonnay. Okay. Okay. That okay tells like me I'm wrong. Um. <laughs> Ooh. Tropic City in this bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not, is it, is it a Shannon? It is not. That okay, so that's that. No, it's not a Shannon. Yeah, I'm actually very confused, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I know it's not a Chardonnay. But what's your bit with a Chardonnay? Um, I just don't like most. Like, I found a few bottles of Chardonnay that I do like. Like, super wooded and unbearable. I like unwooded. Okay. okay. Yeah. Like them, I would it. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. So this is what it. It's what it's something. It's still not coming to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After all of that, 
Yeah, so I'm drama, just to say. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Okay, can I have my Give it to you now. Um, <laughs> now you don't know what to do. Now. Uh, now. Oh, I feel like it's a shiny. Oh, it's a shiny. It it's is. a shiny. Oh, this, this is a very nice shiny. It's beautiful. This, this is, is a, a very nice shot. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. No, I, get, I even feel like with wine, like their baby steps, like the you start somewhere mm -hmm. to go somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna try. Yeah. So you're gonna get over the. I would. I would. I would. I would. I would. Yeah. No, I think you're just. It's gonna happen naturally. Okay. But I think our advice is always like to try something more than once because. Different, That's very true. like wine farms have such different styles of making things, and mm -hmm. you might like that specific. Like for example, you probably like the specific shot yes. but then someone else is going to make something and that else will not completely like it. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think this is a great testament to, like. You can find a wooded chardonnay that mm. is not the thing that you think it is. Yes. It's not that thing that puts you off a shot. Nice you know, it's a good wooded shard yeah yeah really really get into it. Mm -hmm. this is lovely it's lovely we yeah. love it so much so much yeah so so this is a hartenberg chardonnay it's a 2018 vintage um it's a common like love. favorite between the five of us now slick <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what made you decide to focus on mental health um, in your content? Mm. Why mental health? Why was that sort of the, I guess, the focus? I know you obviously do other mm. other stuff, uh, other stuff and activities, mm. but um, what made you decide that uncomfortable growth is going to focus specifically on mental health matters? Um, I obviously suffer from mental health, from anxiety and depression, which I speak about very openly. Honestly, I think I spoke about it or I started speaking about it as much as what I have on my channel because I didn't want unrealistic expectations of me as a YouTuber. So I wanted people to understand what it is I suffer from so that if I do disappear, if I'm down, if I'm whatever, it's a very open thing. Like, mm. it's not a secret. And then I found in speaking about it, one, it was very therapeutic for me. But two, I didn't expect for so many people to resonate to what it is that I was saying, which obviously mm. made me feel like I wasn't alone in what I am constantly experiencing. Um, yeah, and it's so crazy it. because I think like was so like loud about mental health matters these days, but I actually feel like we're not. Like no one actually speaks about it so much. Like yo, guys, they're goa and it's because. A, B, and C is happening mentally inside yeah. of me. I don't think it happens. And then it's a ha ha moment. And then, yeah. yeah. For me, I, like, I had fun on social media, it was one of two things. Either like, yo, I suffer from anxiety and depression, and no one has any idea what that looks like. Mm. Like, that's it. Or two, it's a joke. Like, we laugh at everything. It's like, oh my god, I feel like dying today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's why I wanted to speak about what it is I feel and what I go through so mm. that people know that they yeah. aren't like alone. Yeah. 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 And that it shows itself differently in every person. Mm, absolutely that's a very big and thing the, mm. i think also what's cool is like all the adjacent topics that you're able to talk about like related to because i think we're all getting better at like definitions like you know what this is now yes. you know what it's called you can look at all these signs and symptoms <clears throat> but there's so much nuance to mental health you know mm. um like your recent and i think it's the latest recent episode on the negative emotions and like how to handle it like shame guilt yeah. and so on like I thought that was amazing, you know? Like, Thanks. so cool. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's getting easier. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. I think, like, the easier it gets, the more comfortable I am about speaking about a lot more. Like you said, mental health really does have a lot of nuances, mm. and there are so many things that affect your mental health that can trigger your mental health, so, yeah. Do you find that being a Virgo, like, mm. plays a part mm -hmm. in your... They're, they're attacking you. I'm not going to say she's a tester. She's a tester. I'm not going to say she's not going to say Happy birthday season to you. Y'all be <laughs> safe. Y'all be safe, bro. But do you think, like, I just mean, like, that A type kind of personality kind of thing? Do you find that it puts a lot of pressure on you and kind of affects. For sure. Me, like, um, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I like yeah, things to be done a certain way. I'd like to present myself in a certain manner, and my mental health obviously doesn't allow for me to do that. Sure. Mm. Which makes me be up on myself sure. that much more. So, 100%. I think like being a Virgo has a lot. I just put a lot of pressure on myself in many different aspects. Like, okay. even, you know how you guys made the comments about her hand? Like, up here, I was like, in my mind, I did something and I was like, 
put your hand down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Why are you doing that? That's so, so yeah, I do put a lot of pressure on myself. But what I think I like about our star sign mm. is that I think we're very, we think a lot. Like I'm in my thoughts quite a bit. Um, so it, it's almost easy for me to kind of pinpoint where things are coming from because from, I'm always in thought. Mm. So nothing really catches me off guard anymore. I can see where something, when it begins, where it stems from, why I'm feeling that way. So yeah. What's your age group like in terms of dating? dating. Yeah. I like in Miami, which is proving to be a little bit problematic. Y'all are agreeing way too quickly. No, but it's not hot. It's not hot. It's yeah. the right thing to do. Yeah, I like, yeah. So I say yes because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. so in the long for. term. In the long term. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm 24. <laughs> it's actually an issue. Oh, I miss it so much. I actually have an answer. And now it's on the, the red. Got it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> don't go, don't go. Don't go. Are you going to go? Vergas won't be screaming. Number three. <laughs> you two are on the opposite side. Quickly ask. What star signs are you guys? I'm a Pisces. Okay. Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius rising. Okay. I wish you guys let me guess. Oh, the Pisces rising, Aquarius rising. I'm a Virgo rising. rising. I'm a Pisces okay. moon. Yeah, you see, I'm rising the moon. I'll get it. Yeah, that's where it goes down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and I'm sorry, but if we're gonna talk Pinot Noirs, Paul Kluver's top three. Like that's just happening at all times. So yeah, very, very good drink. So now that we've guessed correctly and we've told you the wine, it's time for question number three. Um, so first of all, disclaimer, we know you that everyone can be anything all the time, lots of different things. Yes. However, however, which of these two do you feel resonates more with you? Like if you had to choose one personality, okay. would it be the city girl? Okay. Or would it be a awesome man? Um, you see, I feel like <clears throat> as a city girl, you can be a wholesome man. So I think that's what I try to push. Like, you I actually do that so well. All as, the time. Like, Absolutely. I think like I'm Classy. always <laughs> ray of shit, literally, <laughs> all three. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think that as women with so many different things, and I'm trying to allow myself to express every side of me and not have to suppress certain sides because of what people think yeah. or whatnot. I I'm a Christian and I speak about it quite openly. Mm. So sometimes I do struggle, you know, when I talk about city girls, you know, like people in the comments are like the, the Bible does. So. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord don't like, you know? But like I'm trying to be true to myself. Yeah. But more than I think I'm more if I had to choose between the two and separate them right now, I do think I'm more of like a wholesome girl. Like I like to speak my shit, but that's when I'm in the mood. Mm. Maybe when I'm a little wine drunk and whatnot, <laughs> but for the most part, like I'm, I'm very chilled. Yeah. yeah. But, but I think it, also it, the most nah, recent nah, nah. Um, sort of definition of a city girl, I can't remember which video now, but it's one of the later ones. Mm. And I think someone asked you a question of, can you be a city girl, but you're in a relationship? Yes. And it was more <laughs> like, it is a state of ah, mind, a state of being. Love that. It's how you yeah. rock. It's how you, you know, yeah. move with life. I also think like men really took the term city girl and just try to mud it. Like as, as usual, like, as, 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 as usual, as they like as fun for a honey. Exactly. Never wanna see us, baby. Never, ever. So <laughs> it's like. Yeah, city girls they cheat. City girls mm -hmm. are like, no. That's city girls are bad bitch. If you're gonna date a bad bitch, just know how to handle one. I she will respect you, but she's bad. It's always the snotty nose little ones who've got zero and then dealers in their account. Zero. Shut up. Yeah, you know, it's like, Queen, what do you want your money? Which money? Which money? Which money? Which money? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And someone who says, Oh, who doesn't want you? Have those hypothetical scenarios that they keep posting on Twitter. Hold on. Yeah, like, also, people are liars. Sorry, like, on Twitter, like, I'm like, you're lying. You made that up. Yeah. Okay, and um, what do you smell? This one is serious, eh? Yeah, it's, it's a serious one. This one is real. Um, I don't know if that's like... Ooh. Hold on. It's giving me like a wooded ish mm -hmm. vap. Like a little fire almost, yes. like wood fire yes. moment. Dry. Mm -hmm. mm. No, actually it's very tannic. tannic. Mm. What is the word? Tannic. 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 Yeah. Tannic. 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 Yeah. Um. Tastes itty. It tastes itty. Mmm. Tastes itty. Itty, 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 itty. I don't even want to say tannic. I want to say just structured. Because mm. the tannins mm. structured are quite large. Very, mm. very lovely tannins. Mm. Not lovely. so prominent. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm like delirious for what I'm about to say. You just gotta say it. You just gotta say it. Like I can taste like a little bit like a chocolate, not a chocolate. Sure. Mm. Yeah, some like it's absolutely. Dark chocolate. About you. Mm, I don't know if it's chocolate. Sixty percent? <coughs> like some sixty seven. Oh god. Mm. Okay. So it's probably like a leather oak. That yeah, the, the chocolate the, thing is always associated with oak, oak. penis. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tobacco oaky. Like tasting like a leather couch. Um, Next Every month. time you say this, I think of someone looking like a I think because I asked you to. <laughs> what do you think? Mm, I feel like I said this the other one. Is this a piano? A pianoche? No? No. Is this... Oh, 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 oh. So, already, first guess about this wine is that it is a blend. Ooh, okay. You yeah. only have to guess like one grape though. No, two. I'll... Or three. Okay, two. So there is no pinotage in this blend. Pinotage. Is there Shiraz in this blend? No. Um. I think I'm sh sh 
Hey. Mm. I, I think it's fair that you're having a whole lot time. Yeah. No, give yourself time. Let's throw it out. Oh, it doesn't have it's a, it's a cap size. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. That's my thing. That's okay. my thing. Okay. And then, wait, wait, wait. Can you tell me how many blends? It's three. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, now I'm determined. It could have been worse, eh? Yeah. yeah. When you were going through the peanut raw, you yes. said some things, and you said, is this a... She it's literally okay. Okay. So then there's only the one, one I haven't it. mentioned would be a Merlot. Oh. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct. So it's a Merlot, a Capsa. Yes. I will not get the one. You won't get it. You're actually not going to get the one. You won't get the one. Oh, wait. Hi, bro. Okay. Chinese. No. Yes? There's something M. No. no. What is a... Uh, okay, I'll ask you this afterwards. What's the third grade? Okay, this is a mm. a Rousseau red blend, and it is called Babette. Um, and the grapes in this are a Cabernet Sauvignon, uh -huh. a Merlot, uh -huh. and a Cab Franc. Okay, okay. Um, okay. I've got a question for you. Yes. Um, basically, what was your journey on the the thing that really led you into becoming a full time YouTuber? What was the thing that you found yourself and here you are? Full time YouTuber. <sighs> and how is School it? Was hot on the black. Oh, Chow. Okay. Chow. And uh, I need something to fill up my time with. So I opted to take a leave of absence. Uh, due to my mental health, school wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And I tried to force it for a very long time. Beginning of last year, I was like, I don't want to do that. And then I started a YouTube channel because I had time and I felt like I could dedicate most of my time to that. But I didn't expect to be a full-time YouTuber. Like mm -hmm. I thought, like I'm gonna do YouTube, then I'll like wanna go back to school and then mm -hmm. finish because I was in my final year. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just didn't mm -hmm. feel like oh, finishing mm -hmm. school. And I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. Get there. Mm -hmm. But I honestly think that I just wanted to have a creative outlet. I've never really had that as a person. Uh, yeah. It's been books, family, yeah. boys. Friends. I'm a fan of their boy. Triple B. Yeah, triple B. Triple B. Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, so I think good. when I had all that time to myself, I was like, Google, what do you like? What do you want to speak about? Like, what are you interested in? And I, my channel feels like I, it was a chance to rediscover myself mm. and rediscover what I like and put my energy towards that. Mm. So yeah, um, school was very distracting to me because when I was doing school, I did nothing but school. Okay. So that's why. In hindsight now, mm. I see why it had to go on pause so I could focus mm. on Google and what she likes. Mm. And like, just me as a person holistically, Pick other check. than like the degree. Also, That's so one one. Yeah, 101. Yeah. So yeah. So, so you didn't go, you just found yourself as a full-time YouTuber. I did, yeah. yeah. Even, even when I started, I know I, like I always say in my interviews, like consistency is key. Because that really has worked for me, and that's why I think I'm at the subscribers that I have now. Mm. Because I just was, and last year I was so adamant on not missing a Sunday, not missing a drop. And from my experience and from what I've seen, South African YouTubers aren't as consistent as maybe UK so, and American. Yeah. So, so I was like, that's a gap in the market. I feel like people do want to watch someone every All the week time and know that they're yeah. going to drop mm. no matter what. Yeah. So then I think I kind of found my purpose in that. Like, ugh, I'm a people pleaser, small, small. <laughs> <laughs> so I like showing up for mm. people. And I think that gives me something to do each week. I'm like, you know what? I know my subscribers are waiting. Sometime in the week, I don't know if you like recording, so I'll get it done. How are you finding the journey of YouTube now in the depths of it? Um, it's not as fun as what it was in the beginning. Sure. Mm. Passion project, projects in the beginning. So I don't really mm. care what I was saying. My friends and I were just like, oh, God. Okay. Oh, you guys are like, what? I'm second in fucking chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we realized that like hey you're becoming a full-time youtuber and people are watching you that's when the switch happened for me I was yeah. like, oh this is my job now mm -hmm. like this is not me just coming in front of the camera and spewing whatever I feel like um, it's been fun it's been rewarding but it is stressful mm -hmm. and and people suck like I don't know how else to say sure. it like the pressure's on like, also in a sense yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. YouTube is a space where you quite literally have to put yourself out you sell yourself yeah. your personality and if people don't like that it almost feels like a personal attack as sure. well to who you sure. are mm. yeah. and I don't like that yes. mm. but it's been rewarding mm. and for the most for the most part honestly I am enjoying it yeah, I watched it. I'm this grown person and I think this is so cool. Mm. Like we're having a conversation and we're talking about important things. Yeah. And I can't imagine what it feels like for an 18, 19 year old yes. who loves your content yeah. and watches your stuff every week. Yeah. I think that must be 
great. You know, yeah. like, just I think that everything. for me, it get, as much as mental health is a very big thing, like I'm more than my mental health. And I yes. think I try to show that mm, on my channel. Yeah, yeah, and so that's too. why yes. I don't want every week to be like, let's unpack, let's. It's like I get drunk with my friends, we talk mm. about shit, we and talk about so boys. Nice. Like, we have fun. There's more to life than just like suffering from what you have. Mm. And so that's it. And then also, I think the basis of my channel is that my darkest years were 18 and 19. And I think subconsciously, I create content for the Google then. Yeah. So it's cool that I can do that. And especially for my younger sister, she's actually 18 right now. There's so yeah. many things when I went to varsity, someone had said like, your parents are like, school's hard. Stay away from boys. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where the conversation ends. Mm -hmm. But my experience was so much more than that. Mm -hmm. And I wish someone had actually been like, ooh, you're gonna go through this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, that's normal. If you wanna change your degree, change your degree. Mm -hmm. So I try yeah. my best, I think, my channel is almost like a vessel for the 18 year old Google. Like everything yeah. I have ever needed to hear yeah. is what I try to create. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, doing a great job. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. And also finding content that's both entertaining and educational is very hard. Touch and go. It's touch and go. It's touch and go. We live in the epidemic of a story time. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think then that is a unifying factor of today. Because I feel like your content yeah, absolutely. is. Very educational. You always learn something, um, and it's also delightful and lovely. Mm. But that's what it puts us like. What the best part but of also, like wineish is is because again, my experience of wine was hit like in Cape Town, and it was characterized by white people. Yeah. Mm. And even when I went to White Farm, I'm mean, White Farm, but also white, white, white farm. yeah, White Farm, yeah, white wine farm, white wine sure. farms. Mm. Like we were normally the only girls of color, yeah, of and I think that has also hindered me in exploring wine because mm. I sometimes feel uncomfortable. But to see like four black women know what they speak about, and I know you guys even have like your IGTVs about different things on like yeah. just educating the masses as black women yeah. about something that seems so far, you know, something we shouldn't engage in is so powerful. So I love that. And I like what you guys are doing. Thank you. And also, like, there's a lot of relatability in how you guys speak and enjoy the wine and enjoy each other, but also very educational, which I find really cool. From the city girls, I tried. Uh, <laughs> and wholesome girls worldwide. Yes. Um, this has been such a great video. It's been filled with love. It has been filled with light. laughter and laughter. Mm. And, and wine. Funny. Oh, and wine. And wine. And wine. Mm. Um, but it's been fantastic and thank you if you have made it this far um, yes. please don't forget to like comment and subscribe yes. and always tell us more wine tell us